I'm solo. And I'm thirsty. Oh, <laughs> I'm A-Rob. And I'm spilling water already. We haven't even started. And what? I'm this this is in real anymore. time. So what are we doing today, Rob? We are doing the complete package. The complete package. No, that sounds full horrible. Monty? We don't want either of those on this, at no. least not, not on this show. Completes. Completes. Actually, we got meat complete. We're going to have some meat complete fun tonight for episode 12 of Dystopian Dining. These are kind of cool because you can get them everywhere. Poor mail. Ready yeah. in 60 seconds. Yeah. And I've done a several other prior reviews of these, of the uh, chicken and the turkey. The turkey is actually really good. It has stuffing and turkey, oh, and wow. it tastes like Thanksgiving. I, that one I highly recommend. Nice. They're two bucks a piece at Dollar General, and nice. they have a nice shelf life. Uh, I don't have my glasses, but I think it's about, this one says of 12, December 24th of this year. This one, 29th of no, this year. This one says January 29th, 2022. Okay, that's the first one I've seen of 2022. So again, they vary, but uh, the, the shelf life is over a year. So that's pretty impressive for a shelf-stable food product. It's got some weight. To it does, yes. <laughs> yes. It's, I was surprised. Uh, that it's... They're very similar to the entree in an MRE. So what else do we have sitting in front of us on our tray here? We've got... These green things, and then you're you're gonna get that, and I'm getting this. What are these green things, Cholo? <laughs> Did you? These it, are ready to eat heaters. They sound all fancy and stuff. I don't know about you, but like when we went and did stuff, we had to strip all this crap out and throw it away. We yeah, couldn't move with it. It so. depends. Like if we improvised and made IEDs with these. Yeah, that's another episode. Yeah, but, scorpions, yeah. that kind of thing, yeah. But uh, this right here is what you use. It has a, a fill line right here. Uh, take this out. You they fit. It. Yeah. Yes, and I actually did a prior episode, found out that these fit in the MRE packet, and they work perfectly. Pour so. water in here up to the line. Uh, put your meal in there, fold over the top, and you just kind of prop it up at an angle. That's right. Um, let it sit. And it would just cook it for you. Yeah, it was it's pretty awesome. piping hot. So yes. we don't have to unseal anything. We do, it's I, I always like to make sure to wipe it off before we peel it open. Uh, yeah. And then we have a little bottle of water here. So that one of these is for our heaters, but then we've also got our own little bottle of water. And I put one of these in front of you. You can get a pack of usually eight to ten of these at Dollar General for a dollar. Uh, I got Weiler's Lemonade. What is yours? I've got zero sugar Kool-Aid on the go. No, fair. Do you want to trade? Tropical it? Punch. I'll totally trade my lemonade for your Tropical Punch. <laughs> no, I just what matter. Taking, I've had this one's before. The lemonade actually tastes like legit lemonade. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire these up. We tear at the notch. Uh, it looks like, okay, there we go. I think I hear uh, probably a pit bull whining and moaning out there. <laughs> but he's just going to have to roll with it for a He's such a good boy. He's a spoiled, entitled one, him. So this is our, what, what we call a FRH, field ration heater. And we got a cracked open water here. I'm just gonna pour a little tiny bit, let that start heating up right up to the line. And again, we should have worn life preservers for this episode tonight apparently, because I'm throwing water everywhere. So I got the beef pot roast, and it has carrots and potatoes and beef. Beef pot roast, carrots. What did, what did you get? I got the tender beef with mashed potatoes and gravy. I haven't had that one. I don't know what the difference. There's a roast beef that I tried and it was delicious. I don't know what's different than that and the tender beef. So you, I, I guess, you have the, the tender stuff. You got to work it a little bit at first. You have to like hold your mouth the right way. <laughs> but then, oh, you might have to make a sound Buy too. Buy a drink the first or something. Mm. I got one in last time. I Go know in your hole. It's going in there. You got to shove it in. <laughs> you got to shove it in. You do have to. Oh boy. Hopefully we don't have any like explosions and then meat goes everywhere. Oh, that'd be awesome. Okay, <laughs> it's in. I'm in. Mattis would love that. We have field rack in here. I'm in. We roll the top. I'm already getting that funky smell. And what's yeah. kind of funny about this? It says. Uh, Lean against rock or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is actually on the bag. This is made for the army, I think, because the Marines don't understand it. But uh, oh, can't. that smell is kicking in. You can't read <laughs> the smell, dude, of the of the field ration heater. Yes. it's it's nuts. That's the chemicals reacting to the water. Oi! So I'll use my bottle of water as something. 
Then we'll come back and we'll make our little drinks while these heat up. So uh, yeah. we'll check back with you in a couple minutes. So they cooked. I think yes. yours cooked probably a lot better than mine. Yours got all puffy and, and stinky. Oh, yeah. Smell like field maneuvers. <laughs> Brings the field back to my mouth. <laughs> it really does. It's like a trigger. It's yeah, really weird. It it's so weird. Uh, mine was a dud, which is typical of my life. Uh, <laughs> it's still kind of warm. So, but I'm gonna. I, I mean, yeah, it's hot now, but I didn't puff up. I didn't get the stinky smoke. Yeah. Like like Cholo did. So now we're we took a gulp from our drinks. We're gonna tear open our little drink thingies. Uh, I tried to steal his uh, fruit punch, but he wouldn't let me have it. So I'm stuck with the uh, pink lemonade. Oh yeah. You know this might the ratio might be off actually. This yeah. might be meant for is it? It's, it's meant, meant for a bigger 16, bottle. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna really Made strong. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, I, we probably shouldn't have done the whole thing. I guess. Just put a shot of us. <laughs> right. We have it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Concentrated. <laughs> I like to shake mine up after I pour it in there. I didn't even know why I have the little bottles here. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that looks that. like pure concentrate. Add, we have some to add in, so we're good. As you can tell, we sort of freestyle here at Dystopian Dining because the intent is the world's gone to to heck. And so it doesn't matter, you just gotta make it happen. And sometimes, by golly, you just have to drink sweet lemonade. Right? Yes. We're gonna take these out. Like diabetes lemonade. Okay, so we had a nice conversation about uh, MRE bombs and the things you can do with them. We'll get these stinky little things out of the way. Ooh. Okay, I always like to kind of wipe it off really good because I don't wanna get, I don't wanna ingest that stuff. Any more chemicals than Yeah, then it's already been put in my body with needles by the military anyway. So, off with the lids. Mine is lukewarm. Oh, Definitely, yeah. that's your tender meat, right? We didn't get them crossed, right? No. Mine, no, I got the carrots. Yeah, you got carrots in there. Kind of smells like I'm feeding my dog. Yes. <laughs> it definitely has a uh, Alpo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is usually yeah. pretty normal of <laughs> MRE. It totally... Smells like Alpo. Okay, so I got the, this is roast beef with carrots. The carrots don't have quite the bright vivacity that's <laughs> depicted on the, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, it's kind of similar, really. They're like, I don't know, they're carrots of the earth. Mine's pretty spot on. <laughs> they're carrots of the factory. <laughs> I got brown stuff and mashed oh. potatoes, that's it. Yeah, it's pretty much still cold. Mmm. How's yours? Is yours cold? No. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> my MRE did not, my heater did not malfunction at all. Oh. Mine had a negligent discharge. Wow, that's, that's good. <laughs> this would be good if it was hot. It's, I mean, it is good. And as you can see, this roast beef has, yours is like a grayer gravy. Mine, my gravy is a lot darker than yours. Yeah. Here, get you one of these chunks of this roast beef. Try that. It's pretty mm, phenomenal. Try that meat. That's Okay, so get That's you a really chunk. Good. I'm going to try one more chunk, too. It's still kind of cold, like I said, but once you get past that. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's like Golden Corral. <laughs> <laughs> Quality. Yeah, that's good, though. Mm -hmm. Like, it needs a roll. Okay. Like, it kind of has the uh, dog food smell, but it tastes really good. No, it's not that. It really is tender. Mm -hmm. Yours, I could almost do like with a breakfast. Yeah. With eggs and and I don't know if you can maybe make potato pancakes out of that. Like that's a, but I'm really talking like on a cast though. iron. Mm -hmm. Like that's any time. Yeah. Grab that it. That tastes like breakfast steak right there. This tastes like straight up dinner time. Um, golden crow. Um, yeah. I added a little bit more water to my drink, and this is definitely, you want to have the right dosing for your your powdered drink. Yes. And, uh, but these are good to have. Usually, uh, these are made for the 16-ounce bottle. Yes. And um, I think we got the 3-ounce. 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. These are the It's smallest. still good. Yeah. I like it. I can These remind me of a certain TikTok video you did. Totally <laughs> 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 kidding. Yeah, don't. <laughs> so, I'm pretty good with it. The completes. Okay, so these are, I like these because you can keep them in your car. I have a stealth van, a stealth camper, uh, and I keep food and refrigerator and that kind of stuff. These are great because they stack up nicely. You don't have to keep these refrigerated. Right? No, at all. Okay, so you do not Room have to keep these. For over a year. Yeah. That's not bad. You can't beat that. They're really, yeah. I mean, they were sealed really good. Yeah. Um, I think the having the advantage of not having to keep it cold, you can stack it somewhere for easy on the go. And the thing is, if you were like in the field, yeah, if you were in the field, you could drop this in boiling water. It seems like I, th I think this could, packaging could yeah. take boiling water. I think so, it could too. I mean, I don't know how that, I don't know how good that glue is, but I mean, it's pretty thick. I mean, I I don't know. It the, it recommends microwave is what you do. So mm -hmm. and we have one. We could have done that. We're just, the we were just doing, yeah, just giving it uh, with a shot. I like that, though. That's, I could definitely go to the store and buy these up. And eat them I anytime. have them in my car, actually. I pulled them out of my car. That's worth episode. it. That's yeah, good... it really is. So, uh, definitely, again, I haven't had a bad, the weirdest one I've had yet, actually, I'm going to say, I think episode 10 or 9 was the chicken and dumplings. Dumplings. I always say dumplings. Dumplings. That one is a texture madhouse for me i, I just what was the it, text that shady it's, it's like, so questionable <laughs> it's borderline frothy when you it's just <laughs> <laughs> i don't recommend the chicken and dumplings okay if i wasn't in south carolina i'd say dumplings but since i am i'm gonna say dumplings yeah that's but a... these two thumbs up yeah oh yeah yeah i agree so i could definitely yeah beef uh pot roast and you had the tender beef with mashed potatoes and gravy. I mean, for on the go, you can't beat that. at all. I mean, yeah. well, think about it. Even if it's on a summer day, mm -hmm. and you could probably just set this like it's a summer day, put it on your dashboard, and you have a hot meal anytime. Yeah, you need it, I mean, so. that's yeah. on the go. Grab it. Yeah. I like it. I'm a big fan of this. I might actually go invest in these now. Yeah, they're. I mean, because I mean, the grams of protein in them too, though. I will tell you, there's actually. You take what's in this and compare it to a military MRE, and now the MRE has other components to it, but those other components aren't that expensive. But if you just buy one MRE, you're talking like eighteen to twenty dollars for a modern, mm -hmm. full, full, you know, uh, MRE. So yeah, yeah. So this is a lot cheaper, and you could probably get a lot more long-lasting product out of it. So yeah, yeah. I definitely uh, like the take. There's less prep. Yep. With this. Um, you know, MREs, I've tried so many. We got some on the way. We're going to be doing some Yeah, because, I mean, yeah. jambalaya, the uh, jalapeno cheese. Mm -hmm. the, the new ones have pizza and hot, uh, hot wings. Yeah. What? Yes. Well, yes. apparently so we they've we got upgraded. Some of those on the way. Yeah, <laughs> they've upgraded guys. a lot since. Thank you for checking out Dystopian Dining. Uh, I'm A-Rob. I'm totally coming. And uh, this was fun. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely recommend it. And stay tuned for our next Make sure to subscribe and subscribe or just subscribe, subscribe if you want. Short and different. Don't just subs. Only subscribe if you're set. Yeah. You get to see more of our shenanigans on display by doing that and it's, we always have fun. We do. <laughs> yes, I'm glad we did this tonight. Thank you for coming up. And, uh, thank you all for watching us and we'll see you next time. Bye. Peace.